All right, so this is going to be how to put aluminum sticks or really any Xbox One stick on a original Xbox controller. Um, these ones are just some cheap Amazon aluminum sticks. They have a nice like uh, texture around the edges. You can kind of see that if it'll focus. But the best part is they don't wear down. For instance, I have a pair of these sticks that is just beat to hell. There's a, a ridge right down the center of them and they're just totally unplayable now or unusable. They just, I mean you can see, these ones are in decent shape but they're just kinda, they're, they're beat the fuck up. There's a really deep divot down in the middle. It, it just is hard finding replacement parts for those. These, you won't have that problem. It's, it, it's metal, you can't wear that down. Um, the only things you're gonna need are a small Phillips head screwdriver. This is about the size that you'll need. It's not very big. Um, it's a lot smaller than a regular, just standard size Phillips. Uh, you'll steel stick. This stuff is made by the same people who make JB Weld, which is a, uh, just a really strong epoxy. So you want to look for this. You can buy this in any like Home Depot, Lowe's, any hardware store really. Um, I bought this at an AutoZone. A lot of like car stores will have it. AutoZone or Riley should have that. And uh, it's really just a, it's just this putty. It's a steel infused putty is what it is. And if you look in the center there, the center is black. What you do is you get a small part of that, right? We're just gonna break off a really small piece and you start to mash it together. When you do that, that activates it so it'll start to harden. Uh, this stuff is really old, so it's kind of already hard, but it'll still work. And then these are the sticks we're gonna use. The only reason we need that steel stick is because these aren't as big as the original Xbox ones. If I show you for comparison, this is a just an OEM, well, OEM. It's the original Xbox size, it's off of some third party controller, but it's it's a lot bigger on the bottom. This this one is a lot like wider. It's a little hard to notice maybe from the from the side. Anyways, this one clears the box it's in there, the plastic one does. This one does not. If you put it on there, you'll hit the box and you just can't move in the directions. So we're gonna use this to make it taller basically, and we're gonna put it just right in that hole there. That hole is what slides over the, the stick box so that it can move freely. And I mean, you see these don't have any problems. They snap back, I go all the way around. There's no resistance whatsoever. These are great. Um, so what you do, on the back of your controller, there are seven screws. There's just three on each side here. And then there's one in the middle under the sticker. I like to just pop the middle out. I don't wanna, I don't like taking the whole sticker off. Uh, one, this looks a little better, and two, it's just a pain in the ass getting that sticker off sometimes. So I just take the screwdriver and kind of pop it in the middle until I get enough to get in there. Now you take all seven of those out, and then make sure you have the controller facing down when you take it off. If you if you take it if you take this off face up, these buttons over here are just gonna fall through, and you're gonna have a, a fucking mess. So just leave the face down, and just pull this off like that. They're really easy to take apart. Um, and then we just do the same thing with this. Just take this off. Again, make sure that you leave it face down. And then all of this will just stay in this tray. Otherwise, all this shit is dumping out on your floor. And the only thing we need is, we need this. This side right here, this you can take off. Now, if you'll notice, it's getting really dusty under these under this side here, you can kind of see that. That's from it rubbing against the housing. That's the only thing I'm kind of worried about with these is uh, how long I'll be able to rub against the house, just because especially with the game that I speedrun, it's really, uh, it's really a lot of grinding up against the edges of that case. So you can, I mean, you can see it's like wearing down the plastic around the casing. I don't think that will be that big of a problem, but honestly, I'd rather have good sticks than have like a good edge around that casing. I can buy like cheap third party ones of those. I don't want to use cheap, cheap ass third party sticks that don't feel good. I love the way these feel though. These just pull right off the top and you can you can maybe see in there, I already have some of that steel stick in there. It's a little like gray down in the bottom. 
probably not. There's just a little in there so that it clears this box. So it goes over like this and it clears, clears perfect. Now if I try these ones, you just come on. It might only fit on one side. Yeah, so these are a little hard to get over there. Once they slide all the way down, you're not clearing your box. Like, it, see, it's already, it's stuck. It's stuck just like that. I can't even go this way. Yeah, see, this one's fine. See, it'll kind of clear, but it scrapes, and you don't you don't want that feeling when you're doing that. So we're just gonna we're gonna make these a little taller. So what I did is I just I just put them both on there just to make sure that they would both fit. It's a little tight going in there because obviously they're not made for these. These are made for an Xbox One, um, but they will work. So we're just gonna take a really really small amount of this. Um, I mean, for like measurement, you can kind of just take the tip of your screwdriver. We're just gonna pinch off some of this. We're not even gonna use half of this. So like. Like that amount, I would say about, you know, pea-sized will work for both your controllers. You split that in half, and then I will just sit here and mash this up. And there's instructions on the container it comes in. You just mash this up until it's all basically one color. And even that might be too much. You just really need a tiny amount. The, the best thing to do is just Put less than you think you'll need. You can always go back in and put more. You can't really take this out. It's going to be hard. You're going to have to chip it out because it's, it's steel infused. Like it's going to harden really hard. So you would need to chip it out, or you know, maybe get your screwdriver in there and just I don't know, scrape it until it um, falls out. So we'll put this in there, just a little bit, put a little bit on there, I would say put a little on there, test it, and then if it's still not clearing, put a little more. I'm just going to stab this in there with a the screwdriver just to get it all the way down. Again we took a about a pea size part of that and then we split that in half. So half of it will work on one stick. We barely need any. All right, let's try that out. So that's pretty good already. You can see it's not getting stuck anywhere, it clears everywhere. I can feel a little scraping, so I'm gonna put a small amount more, but that feels pretty good. Like I'd, I'll take that. Now there's no exact measurement for this, just like I said, use a small amount. And once you once you get yours and you put them over there without anything in the, inside of there, you, you'll feel how much you'll need basically. You'll You'll see how much you need to raise it up to clear. All right, so yeah, adding that, adding that worked. And so you're just gonna take those out and it needs about an hour, hour and a half to completely set. So we're just not gonna touch that for about an hour. And just repeat the process for the other one. Um, 
after you do that, you'll have two working Xbox One sticks on your original Xbox controller. It doesn't have to be aluminum ones. I'll link these aluminum ones. I got them on Amazon for like $7. It was like free Amazon Prime, two day shipping. So it's, these are pretty decent. They're really good for the price. Um, but you can use any Xbox One sticks, which is great because they obviously will have more options. They made those a lot more customizable and they're a lot newer. So people make 3D printed ones and all this kind of shit. So definitely good to have. Uh, I'm not gonna show you how to put the other one on there. It's the same as the first. Again, just put it in there, feel out how high you need to raise it up, and then put your controller back together.